All right, my dear Bible in 365 brothers and sisters, we are now embarking upon the book of 2 Peter, and this is an absolutely incredible letter. Now, this is very interesting because unlike most of the letters in the New Testament, this does not make a very specific uh, sort of a uh, stipulation as into who he's addressing. It is obvious that he is addressing Christians. We know that he is uh, not speaking to any particular locality as he did in First Peter, but he is speaking to the body of Christ, right? Now, it is interesting because in 2 Peter, he says that he is writing to the same people that he had written to before, which, of course, would bring us to the Jews, particularly in the area of Asia Minor. Uh, so this is kind of interesting stuff. But anyway, you are going to love this book because this book is the book to read, especially when it comes to dealing with the naysayers, right? Sometimes the naysayers can be used by the enemy to cause us to be unsure about our salvation. I don't know if you've ever thought about that. Like, man, is my salvation even real? Am I going to heaven? Well, if you have that question, you can read 2 Peter chapter 1. Literally, the first 11 verses are incredible to build a reassurance concerning your salvation. The declaration of the truth of God's word, it's going to be great when you get to the second half or at least sort of the middle of 1 Peter chapter 1, you are actually going to hear Peter talk about the fact that he knows that his death is going to be near and specifically speaking about the fact that he would be killed. And it is interesting because when they went to crucify Peter, he said that he was not worthy to be crucified in like manner of his Lord and asked to be crucified upside down. Very interesting story of what happened. And this is what the early church uh, record tells us concerning him. Uh, talk about some incredible boldness, right? And then, of course, at the end of chapter one, he goes to remind us of how sure a word the gospel of Jesus Christ really is, the good news. And then when you get into chapter two, he's going to talk about the very thing that we are watching today at this very moment, and that is a great uh, departing from the faith, how so many people are walking away and not seeking the Lord. And when you know that this type of thing is going to be happening, well, then of course it shouldn't be any kind of a surprise to you, right? Like this is not the type of thing that should take you by surprise because you know what the word of God says. And we know that as the days are getting closer to that very end, we know that the world is going to be getting darker and it has become quite the dark place but when you get into, Re when, I almost said Revelation, when you get into 2 Peter chapter 3, what I love about 2 Peter chapter 3 is that this answers those people who would say that God is delaying his coming. And what Peter tells us is, no, God's not delaying his coming. He's a graceful God, and he's giving people an opportunity to come to repentance and it's encouraging to us because all of us say, come, Lord Jesus, come, come quickly. And we know he is. And 2 Peter chapter 3 gives us reassurance of that very fact. It's exciting stuff. This, I promise you, will be an absolutely life-changing book. You don't want to miss out on it. You're going to be blessed by it. I love you guys. God bless you. As I said in the Daniel video, I am recording this the day before Thanksgiving, and I have to tell you, I am so absolutely grateful for the friendships and the brotherhoods and sisterhoods that we have developed together. Well, I'm a brother. You, Some of you are sisters. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I am so thankful for the opportunity to minister to many of you, to be a pastor to many of you. I'm grateful for uh, Erica Kirk and the ministry here at Bible in 365 and Proclaim Streetwear. I'm so thankful for Charlie Kirk's ministry, and I'm very thankful for Genevieve. What a little cutie. Anyway, love you guys. God bless you. Keep fighting the good fight, and thank you, Jesus, for my own family. I'm so blessed. Folks, I've just adopted my third child, a little boy. We are so blessed. God is good, and we have a lot to be thankful for, and I mention that in the context of knowing Jesus is coming soon because the Bible said it. Love you guys. God bless you.